Hi guys! It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, in life, we always have to be happy. And many have asked me, Dexter, why are you always happy and jolly? Well, I always find pleasure on ordinary things like these plants. These are the source of my joy and happiness and also in keeping pets and other animals at the farm. It gives me some good vibes to start a new day in life. And today we are going to make an update about our rabbit tree. And just in time, just this morning, I was informed by my neighbor, Arnel, that his rabbits are really dying because these rabbits suffer disease. And before we gonna make an update about our rabbit tree in the farm, we're going to extend our helping hand to, to Arnel. This man had been a very pet lover and ever since he started raising rabbits, it always ended a failure. So we will examine what's really the cause of the disease of his rabbits. So guys, we are here at the house of Arnel and we will try to address the disease of these rabbits that has been taking care for the past few months. So guys, this disease is called mysomatosis. This is caused by the sucking of the insects, including mosquitoes, fleas, lice, ticks, and mites. In order to prevent these rabbits from developing this kind of disease, we have to immediately address the issue. If there are rabbits that are contaminated with this virus, we will segregate this immediately. Those rabbits that are infected will usually develop nasal eye discharges as part of the disease process. And the transmission is also possible via infected hatches or enclosures. And the best way to prevent mysomatosis is to control external parasites such as mosquitoes, the fleas, and the mites. And maybe we have to put some screen in order for the mosquitoes not to get inside the clutches. But this is actually a very expensive thing to do. So what I have practiced in our rabbitry is to conduct regular fumigation. So guys, I would like you to meet my friend Arnel. He's my neighbor actually and he's a pet lover. You look at his pets right here. He has uh, geese, he has ducks and even rabbits. But he was discouraged really in taking care of these rabbits because it always ended up with, you know, a, a failure. rabbit uh, Three times now. Tapos wala, discouraged ko kay kamatay man na sa tambal. So, karon ato ang akong ikaw, akong hilingan niyo po na nagkabay sa kwa, injek sa nasay pan, tambal. Actually, so, the, the medicine is uh, ivermectin. Oo, oh, na punta na mo paano sa survive kay ganyan, namatyan ko isa. So, doon na lang, kung ako nang gibuhin kay pamahala na ito kwa. <laughs> kay last time po, ano, katong isa, aduhag yun, oh. Oh. na namatay. Namatay ka po. Wala, so ikaw lang sa uh, tambal. So, karon nagigikuan sa kwa, uh, punta nga, ayun na, isa para... Surely, surely these rabbits will recover and we will make an update about the conditions of this rabbit few days few, few days from now and I hope that this rabbits will recover I want him to become successful in rabbitry that's why uh, I didn't know we are just neighbors but I didn't know that he has this kind of pet so you look at his pet as a geese and uh, next week I am also planning to buy some of his geese
Hello guys, welcome to Dexter's World. You know, we get some soil here to put in the sack because the flood destroy our rabbit cage. So now, we get some soil. So guys, we are here inside the rabbit house and forgive me because the chickens are really very noisy. It would be better to silence them by giving some food but they are really making noise because this time is the laying of eggs time. Every egg that has been laid, they will really make a noise. So this is it. We are here inside. We have produced actually dozens of rabbits and I am so glad because today we can I think harvest more than three dozens. That's I think 37 or 38 kids that can already be weaned. And last week we had a bad experience inside in this rabbit house because of the typhoon. The heavy downpour had forced us to get all the kids from the ground in order to save them because this area had already been flooded with water. That's why we really have made some efforts to gather some soil in order to elevate the maternity cages that we have here inside in this rabbit house. And I'm so glad that we were successful. Yes, indeed, in farming, there are times that you will really experience these difficulties and circumstances. But uh, as what I have told you, it's my attitude to focus on the things that we can improve and the things that could be done better rather than focusing on the negative things that are happening. So actually now we are successful and I'm so glad that uh, we have here so many kids and you will see uh, kids right here actually and uh, I am scheduled now to remove the mother. I will remove the mother from here uh, because uh, it's winning time. I will win this one. Okay, let me get you. So guys, that just don't be disturbed in the way how I deal with this rabbit because this is really the proper way how to, you know, to get in order to protect ourselves, okay? So guys, we are about to get all the kids uh, from here. Just forgive me because... I really had difficulty on bending but we will do this for you guys just to let me show how we are going to win our rabbits this is a 45 days old rabbits oh how many kids do we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Imagine we have ten kids right here. You will see that they are not big because there are ten of them. So we will get some more. Right here, we also have another batch to be win today. Just be careful. I will get you now. Okay, she's really afraid. We will detach now the mother. Yes. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Ah, we have four. Ah. Five. in doing this rabbit thing it's really very important to maintain the cleanliness in this rabbit house nobody could just get inside easily without you know 
having clean slippers we cannot just get inside with you know our slippers not being disinfected so that's our rule here in this rabbit house we will maintain the cleanliness in order to maintain the health also of our rabbits so there is one person that is really assigned to do the feeding and the watering of these rabbits And I think from here we can get some. Oh no, very small. All of them are still very small, very young. They're very cute. You see them? Maybe in the other in the other cage. Okay, right here. Oops, yes. Oh, plenty. Oh. How many kids do you have, man? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven. Thank you, thank you very much for producing more babies. Can you get this? Uh, okay. So we have a record actually. Uh, the reason why we are sure that we are going to win this because we're winning rabbits every 45 days from birth. Sometimes we win those rabbits 40 days depending upon the circumstances. And maybe you will ask what's the circumstance? Well. If there are only few kits, then we can win that early. But since they have plenty, we will wait until 45 days before we're gonna get this or detach them from the mother. So we will count how many? One, two, three, four. And my principle in doing all these things is prevention is better than cure it's really very difficult to cure the sickness of our rabbits but it's more easier to make preventions the cleanliness the food the diet the vitamins and early detection of this disease that we are talking about what about this one wow you see nursed carefully by the mother you see that so what i am saying is for us to become successful in this uh, rabbit farming we have to give privacy and some other farms don't practice the privacy they're just allowing their dose delivering babies in an open cages but it's my principle to give them the privacy So we have finally gotten all the matured ones, meaning that those which are already due for the winning and uh, all of them reach around 40 kits. And then if you will multiply this one to 500 per kit, so 40 times 500, that's gonna be 20,000 pesos for this harvest alone. Because I'm selling this at 500 per kit at the pet store. And maybe you will ask, Dexter, is this a lucrative business? My answer is yes. This is a lucrative business because rabbits are not prone to get sick. You will not spend too much on the medication if you will just uh, industrious enough to prevent the contamination of the disease, such as the cleanliness and the constant fumigation around the area. Because these mosquitoes could really cause the failure of our rabbitry because they can really endure our rabbits and uh, cause some viral infections and will also cause some complications that will result to the death of our rabbits. So you will see that in other cages there are so many kits that are to be weaned in the future weeks. For those rabbits or kids that have issues about itchiness, if you will spot the rabbit that has uh, issues on their skin, you immediately apply that with the virgin coconut oil. And if the disease will progress, our second treatment would be the injection of this ivermectin. And maybe you will ask the dosage, we will just give 
the kit, the small kit like this, 0.2 ml of this ivermectin, and we will inject that under the skin. That's uh, subcutaneous, and it will bring forth good result after five to seven days. So this is really very important in in rabbit keeping or in rabbit business. So we already have mentioned in our previous videos about the food. We have discussed about the water, the vitamins, and today we were talking about the cure of this disease that rabbits are prone to contract with. I hope guys you are enlightened by this video and I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos. We are sincerely aiming to share our experiences for others also to try and for others to learn. So if you already have a good system, I don't urge you to adapt my system. But if you are having problems with the health of your rabbits, maybe this video would help your friend or you personally who is watching right now. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed. We are uploading videos every 5 days only here at Dexter's World.